ka namin Aral mo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan Ang krus mong kinamatayan ay sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, dinarangal ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, nilulwalhati ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, sinasamba ka namin, pinipintuho ka namin, aral mo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, Iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan Ang krus mong kinamatayan ay Sa kisag ng aming kaligtasan Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Dinarangal ka na Before the Mass Prepare yourselves well for it. Do not watch it with a cup of coffee in hand. Read the Mass readings to prepare yourselves. Think what you are to thank the Lord for and what to offer to Him this Mass. Remember, you are praying this Eucharist with many other fellow Catholics. During the Mass Stay in reverent gesture throughout the Mass. Pray with the whole family. Join in prayers, response, and singing. At the time of communion, make a spiritual communion. After the Mass, Take some moments of silence to read again the scriptural readings and reflect.
We have an announcement. We again knock at your hearts to help us give a Christmas gift to our Lava Parish program beneficiaries through our yearly Stars of Grace campaign. You may visit the chapel office for your donation. Thank you. Mga kapatid, tayo ay lumuhod sa harap ng larawan ng Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno. Sambahin natin siya na nakaluklok sa kanan ng amang nabubuhay magpakailanman. Sa ngala ng Ama, ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. O Jesus Nazareno, katamis-tamisan kong manunubos sa harap mo ngayon naririto kami nangangayupa pa at nagsisisi ng taus-puso sa aming pagiging walang turing sa iyo at paglimot sa di mabilang na mga biyaya mo, lalong-lalo na yaong di mahalagang biyaya ng pagtubos. Dinaramdam namin at pinagsisisihang labis. Panginoon ko, ang pagkakasala namin sa iyo, ikinalulungkot namin ang pagiging dahilan mo ng pagpapasan ng krus na iyan sa gitna ng mga hirap at kapaitan hanggang sa inihandog mo ang iyong buhay sa bundok ng Kalbaryo sa pagkaibig mo lamang na matubos sa sala ako at ang sangkatauhan. Pakabanalin mo, Panginoon ko, ang aming pagnanais at ipatanggap mo sa amin ang iyong biyaya. Maging tagapagmagitan nawa ang iyong ina Kalinis-linisang Birheng Maria, siya nawa. Panalangin sa ikalimang araw ng nobena. Dili-dilihin natin kung paano sa paglakad na patungong kalbaryo ni Jesus na pasan ang mabigat na krus ay naubusan siya ng lakas at nang ito ay mamalas ng mga hudyo sa pangambang mamamatay ng di pa sumasapit sa pook ng pagpapakuan sa kanya, ay pinilit si Simon Serene na tulungan siya sa pagpapasan ng krus. Humahanga kami, O Jesus ko, at nagpupuri sa iyong bathalang pagtitiis sa pagpasan hanggang sa kalbaryo ng krus na pagpapakuan sa iyo. Purihin ka nawa at sambahin ngayon at magpakailanman siya nawa. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo, bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo, Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Abagi noong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaing lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Jesus. Santa Maria, Ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Pangwakas na panalangin. Ama naming makapangyarihan, niloob mong akuin ng iyong anak ang krus at kamatayan upang ang sangkatauhan ay matubos at mabuhay. Ang pag-ako namin sa krus at kamatayan dito sa lupa ayon sa diwa ng pagsunod sa iyong loob na ginanap ng iyong anak ay magpagindapat na wang aming kamtin ang lubos na katubusan at pagkabuhay sa iyong piling sa pamamagitan ni Heso Kristo kasama ng Espiritu Santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Amen. Sa ngala ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is January 4, 2021, Monday after Epiphany. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is our Chaplain, Reverend Father June Sescon. Please stand and let us sing the entrance hymn. <laughs> Oh, 
of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and mercy of Jesus, the Prince of Peace, the Savior of the world, be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome, dear sisters and brothers, as we celebrate this holy sacrifice of the Mass. And this also is our farewell Mass to our dear Nuestro Padre, Jesus Nazareno of Quiapo. And we thank the Lord for this blessing of His visitation that as we continue to marvel at Christmas when God dwelt among us, when God became man for our sake, we behold Jesus not only as the Christ child, but Jesus who carries the cross for our sake. Let us now with humility acknowledge our sins and beg the Lord's mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May our loving God have mercy on us, grant us healing and peace, teach us to forgive one another, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your people, O Lord, we pray, unshakable strength of faith, so that all who profess that your only begotten Son is with you forever in your glory, and was born of the Virgin Mary in a body truly like our own, may be freed from present trials and given a place in abiding gladness. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, we receive from him whatever we ask, because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And his commandment is this, we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him, and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us is from the Spirit whom he gave us. Beloved, do not trust every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they belong to God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges Jesus Christ come in the flesh belongs to God. And every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus does not belong to God. 
This is the spirit of the Antichrist, who, as you heard, is to come, but in fact is already in the world. You belong to God, children, and you have conquered them. For the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They belong to the world. Accordingly, their teaching belongs to the world, and the world listens to them. We belong to God, and anyone who knows God listens to us, while anyone who does not belong to God refuses to hear us. This is how we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of deceit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him. With trembling, rejoice. I will give you all the nations for an inheritance. Let us now honor the Holy Gospel. Together, Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, a proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went to live in Capernaum by the sea, in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali, that what had been said through Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled. Land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way of the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sit in darkness have seen a great light. On those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death, light has arisen. From that time on, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He went around all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness among the people. His fame spread to all of Syria, and they brought to him all who were sick and with various diseases and racked with pain, those who were possessed, lunatics and paralytics, and he cured them. And great crowds from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, and Judea, and from beyond the Jordan, followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, dear sisters and brothers, and once again, welcome to our celebration of the Holy Mass. And we also welcome those who are joining us online, the homebound, those who are sick and those who are taking care of the sick, and those who are restricted during this time of pandemic. 
And though it is our farewell mass already, perhaps some of you, especially those who have returned to work today, perhaps this is also the first time you're joining this mass with the Black Nazarene, so might as well also join me, even if it is a farewell already, farewell mass, but still welcome to the Senor. Can we give the Senor a clap offering? And we are so blessed that He has visited us. Every year, the Senor goes to Greenbelt Chapel. But I know that when the pandemic started, I was not anymore hoping that His visit would materialize this year. And I did not even dare ask the priest in Quiapo if they would allow because I know it is very strict and there are certain limitations. And that is why I was so glad when during the Simbanggabi period, we were informed that he would still visit Greenbelt Chapel. And that for me is a, a good sign for us, especially as we relish the new year. And just as the gospel would tell us in this farewell mass, Jesus even left Nazareth to go to the peoples, to go to those who are in need. Yesterday was the solemnity of the epiphany, ang pagpapakita ng Panginoon. Yes, the wise men traveled to see Jesus, but it was still the initiative of Jesus. It was still Jesus who made the first step so that He could be encountered by the wise men. Just as in the Gospel today, Jesus was the one who went out of his way so that he could cure, bless, forgive, and proclaim the kingdom of God. Kaya napakaganda po na yung nangyayari sa Ebanghelyo, yung kwento ng Ebanghelyo, yung galaw ni Jesus sa Ebanghelyo, ay galaw din niya ngayon sa atin. He left Nazareth to be with peoples. And He is with us now. But sisters and brothers, yes, we have a strong devotion to the Black Nazarene. I remember when we were in the seminary, some of the professors were saying they, they did not like the, the timing of the Black Nazarene because we are still Rejoicing. Kaya nga nung dumalaw siya, sabi ko, lilipat muna natin ang baby Jesus. And some people were saying, even some professors were saying, we are still relishing Christmas and here comes Jesus, fully grown up, carrying the cross. Kaya nga sabi niba, parang spoiler yata kasi nakikutan pa tayo kay Jesus. Natutuwa pa tayo sa sanggol na si Jesus Pero tayong mga Pilipino, hindi pa nga natatanggal ang mga Christmas decoration natin, ibang Jesus na uli ang sumasalubong sa atin. Hindi na yung Jesus na sanggol na flawless at ang sarap pisili ng pisngi, kundi Jesus ngayon na matanda na, sugatan, nagdurusa, pasan-pasan ang krus. But I, in the end, in reflection, realized it was not a bad timing after all. Because it is also a good reminder for us. This coming Saturday, we will begin the novena to the Santo Nino. Babalik na naman tayo sa bata. Siguro sabihin nyo, ano ba talaga? Bata? Matanda? Balik ulit tayo sa bata. But that is our Lord multifaceted so that we will not just be fixated. Yes, He is the child Jesus, but He is also the Jesus who gave Himself up for our sake. Yes, He is the innocent Jesus, but He is also the mature Jesus 
who battled all evils, who went around proclaiming the kingdom of God, proclaiming repentance, admonishing sinners to return to the mercy of God. So much so that no other figure in history changed the world by His coming than Jesus. No other figure in history was able to do that. So much so that even our time is now reckoned before or after His birth. Because whenever Jesus enters into history, into life, into a family, there is change. Ang tunay pong deboto ng poong Jesus, mapabatang si Jesus, mapang Santo Nino, mapa Senyor Nazareno, may pagbabago. Mga kapatid, dahil ito ang dulot ni Jesus. Sabi nga sa first reading, we belong to God. We are not anymore in darkness, but we are in the light. Ang tunay daw pong deboto, hindi lang yung nakamaroon, hindi lang yung nagbabasa ng nobenaryo, hindi lang yung nakikipagprosesyon, hindi lang po yung nakikisimba. Ang tunay na deboto ni Jesus ay may pagbabago. And that is what we pray in this Mass. All of us need conversion. All of us need change. And let us allow the Lord to enter our lives. Yun daw po ang tanda na pumasok si Jesus sa buhay mo kapag binago ka ni Jesus. Bagong taon na. Siguro nga medyo nalulungkot tayo. 2021 na. Pero parang 2020 pa rin sa totoo lang ang pinagdaraanan natin. GCU pa rin. Ang dami pa rin bawal. Wala pa rin bakuna. Mahina pa rin ang ekonomiya. Siguro nga nawawala na excitement natin sa bagong taon. Pero hindi lang doon tayo pupulot. Hindi lang tayo doon uhugot ng pag-asa natin, kundi si Jesus. Kaya nga siya dumalaw sa atin ngayon para tulungan tayong magbago. At kapag tayo daw po ay nagbago, tayo ay nagiging kasangkapan din sa pagbabago. That is the full circle of a true devotee. Ikaw ay nagbago at ikaw din ay nagiging dahilan ng pagbabago sa pamilya mo, sa opisina mo, sa kapwa mo, sa bayan mo, sa simbahan mo. Because that is the true miracle, the true blessing that Jesus brings to us. Yes, He cured the sick, He exorcised demons, He brought back the dead to life, but in the end, Jesus came to build up the kingdom of God. Papanibaguhin ang buhay natin upang matanggap natin ang buhay na walang hanggan. Kaya siya ipinanganak para matanggap natin ang buhay na walang hanggan. Kaya niya pinasan ang krus para matanggap din natin ang buhay na walang hanggan. As we continue with this Mass, let us look within. Let us look at our hearts, at our lives. Is it truly open to Jesus? Are we willing to truly allow Jesus to lead us? Siya ba talaga ang namumuno sa ating buhay? Dear Lord, as we welcome you here, we also welcome you into our hearts, into our homes, into our community, into our country. Panginoon, pumasok po kayo, tuloy po kayo sa amin. 
manahan po kayo sa amin. Dahil kapag kayo po'y tunay na nanahan, tunay na naghari, tunay na namuno, mababago kami. At kapag kami tunay na nabago mo, kami rin ay magiging daan sa pagbabago ng aming pamilya, pagbabago ng aming bayan, pagbabago ng buong mundo. Tuloy po kayo, mahal na Yesus na Sareno. Bless their Lord God of all creation, to your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given you manans and made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed their Lord God of all creation, to your goodness, we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we proclaim the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. For those who cannot kneel, please put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. Every Mass is an epiphany, a manifestation, a visitation by God. Because at every Mass, Jesus is with us. Let us open our hearts and truly welcome the Lord and truly allow the Lord to reign over us. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, our most chaste spouse, St. Michael the Archangel, St. Padre Pio, St. John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus came so that we can become children of God. Let us now call on our loving Father. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, and now you're saying it to all of us here, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, do not look on our sins. Pardon us, Lord, when, when we become stubborn, when we refuse to change, when you are not really the Lord of our hearts. Lord, Purify us. Allow us to be receptive to your grace and power. And look on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us sincerely offer to each other Christ's peace. sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. 
of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Behold, Jesus of Nazareth, the light and salvation of all peoples, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am I'm not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us all kneel and pray the Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. All together, God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray, pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we praise and thank the Lord for our servants and staff at Greenbelt Chapel who have been so selfless and dedicated, helping us maintain order and safety so that as we conduct our services, we are still protected and we could continue with peace in our hearts and in our mind. So, salamat po at uh, matatapos na ho ang Christmas season, although magumpisa naman ang Santo Nino, kaya salamat pa rin po sa ating mga servants. Pwede bang palakpakan po natin ang mga servants ng Greenbelt Chapel? And thank you po sa Ihos Bukluran, galing po sa Kiapo, ang nagdala po ng ating mahal na senyor. Thank you and please extend to Monsignor Ding Coronel our sincerest gratitude for making it possible that despite this pandemic, the senyor is still with us. And as I said earlier, so by January 8, we will begin every 12.15 Mass the Novena to the Santo Nino, the titular of Greenbelt Chapel. The fiesta will be on January 17. So, sana po magtatapos ang nobenaryo ng Senyor sa January 8. Simula naman po ang nobenaryo sa Santo Nino. Napakagandang paalala na tuloy-tuloy pa rin. Hindi tayo iniiwan. Kalakbay natin ang Panginoon. And as we bid farewell to the Senor, we cannot touch Him for safety reasons. Most of you, hopefully all of you, have received the handkerchief. And later, when we pay homage to Him, this handkerchief has already been touched to the Senor. So we don't have really to cram and force ourselves. And more importantly, let Jesus touch you. With all these limitations, later we will wave this as if spiritually pinapahid na natin ito sa Kanya and say, Lord, I cannot touch you, but you can touch me. Just as you went out of your way to be with people, you went out of your way to come over, you also will go out of your way to enter my heart. And that will serve as our farewell to the Senor. So my only request is that uh, especially if uh, later on when the, the Senor is being brought out, please let us still be mindful of the health protocols. I'm sure the Lord wants us all to be healthy. The Lord wants us all to be in order. The Lord wants us all to be charitable to each other. The prayer, the spiritual offering, I'm sure, and most importantly, our desire for conversion 
is more than enough. And as we look at Jesus carrying the cross, lahat po tayo ngayon dito may dinadalang cross dahil na rin sa pandemic na ito. Let's ask the Lord to help us carry our crosses. Ang Senyor daw po, hindi siya yung dumadausdos at padapa. Ang Senyor daw po, bagamat parang pabagsak, ay sa totoo lang daw po, umaahon, bumabangon, kahit mabigat ang krus. At yun din ang idasal natin sa atin ngayon. Madatapa tayo, mababagsak tayo, mabibigatan tayo sa krus. Pero sa tulong ni Jesus, makakabangon tayo. At lagi tayong tumitingin sa Ama na siyang nagbibigay sa atin ng lakas. And so for this final blessing, I invite you also to remember people who cannot be here in this Mass for one reason or another, especially those who are sick, those who are experiencing extreme challenges and trials in life right now. Let's pray for them. Let's include them in this blessing. And let us also ask the Lord, make us instruments to other people so that they can also carry their cross through our charity, our compassion, our love. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. And whisper to the Senor also the people you want to share this blessing. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go and always allow Jesus to enter your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Palakpakan po natin ang mahal na Senyor. You can bring out your handkerchief and let us uh, spiritually allow the Lord to touch us. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Sampa ka namin Pinipinto ka namin Para mong aming buhay at kaligtasan Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, sinasamba ka namin, pinipintuho ka namin, aral mo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, Iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan, ang krus mong kinama.
kamatayan ay sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, dinarangal ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, nilulwalhati ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, Sinasamba ka namin Pinipintuho ka namin Aral mo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan Mung kinamatayan ay sa kisag ng aming kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, dinarangal ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, nilulwalha ka namin Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno dinarangal ka namin Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno nilulwalhati ka namin Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, sinasamba ka namin, pinipintuho ka namin, aral mo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, Iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan Ang krus mong kinamatayan ay Sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Dinarangal ka na Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, nilulwalhati ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, sinasamba ka namin. Pinipintuho ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan. Ang krus mong kinamatayan ay sa kisag ng aming kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, Dinarangal ka namin Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Nilulwalhati ka namin Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Dinarangal ka namin 
nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, ni Lulu al Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, si nasan ba ka namin, pinipintuho ka namin, aral mo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, Iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan Ang krus mong kinamatayan ay Sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Dinarangal ka na Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, nilulwalhati ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, sinasamba ka namin, pinipintuho ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan. Ang krus mong kinamatayan ay sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, Dinarangal ka namin Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Nilulwalhati ka namin Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Dinarangal ka namin Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, ni Lulu al Hati Kala. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, sinasamba ka namin, pinipintuho ka namin, aral mo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, Iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan Ang krus mong kinamatayan ay Sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno Dinarangal ka na Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, nilulwalhati ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, sinasamba ka namin, pinipintuho ka namin. Ang 
Nazan, nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, y lictas mo camisa, casalanan, ang cruz mong kinamatayan ay sa kisag ng aming kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, dinarangal ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, nilulwalhati ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, Dinarangal ka namin Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno Nilulwalhati ka Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, sinasamba ka namin, pinipintuho ka namin, aral mo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesús Nazareno, Iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan, ang krus mong kinamatayan ay sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, dinarangal ka na. 